and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can convert your mommy's gown, night gown, into your own casual dress like this. You can style this dress with denim jacket like I did and cute shoes, cute casual shoes. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. For this you'll need a nightgown and a t-shirt which should fit you well. Now take your gown and cut a straight line from where the armhole ends. If you want sleeves on your dress, you can use the sleeves from your nightgown and attach it to the armholes of your dress which you are about to make. Now take the portion that we just cut and place your t-shirt over it. Now I'm just gonna put the sleeves inside so that I can mark the armholes. Do the same with the other sleeve as well and then just simply trace the neckline, shoulders, armholes and side seams onto the maxi. Now mark the length you want your bodies to be. I am taking about 17 inches here starting from shoulders. And then marking a straight line like so. Now just simply cut the bodies with about half or an inch of a seam allowance. Since we mark the back neckline for our bodice, I'm just going to deepen the neckline for the front piece like so. I just folded it in half and cut a slant curve from shoulder to the other edge. And when you open it up, you should have a deeper neckline like this. Now hem the neckline as well as your armholes for both the pieces. Once that is done, keep both the pieces right sides together so that the wrong sides are facing you just simply stitch the shoulders together for both the pieces as well as the side seam starting from the armholes making sure that the bodice fits you the way you want once that is done take the remaining piece of the gown and level it up to make it into a nice rectangle now place it with the bodice part and you'll see that the curt waist is broader than the bodice waist. So to attach both the pieces together, first pin the side seams of both the pieces. And then start making pleats on front as well as back of the skirt and not the bodice, only the skirt and pin it down and then do a straight stitch all over it to attach both the pieces. Once you're done, it should look something like this. You can adjust the length as well and you're done. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends and also subscribe to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. That is the Instagram that is here, my Facebook here. And my Twitter, if you are a fan of Twitter, it's here. Now let's get on to the featuring. Okay, so the first one goes out to Madhurima Jakamasetti. Yeah, Jakamasetti. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And she says, gorgeous as always. I love it how you make me believe that even I, that is without basic sewing knowledge, feel like I can do it myself. Love it. Thanks for awesome tutorials. Happy Valentine's Day as well. Wish you lots of love. Thank you. And I hope you all had a fun and a happy Valentine's Day. So the second one goes out to 
Sarayu B and she says this is a perfect video I'm searching from one month. Finally I found it. Thanks for sharing with us. I'm so glad you found it. Thank you. And the last one goes out to Syada Syama and she says this was the easiest and well explained video I've come across so far. Good work. Thank you. So that was it for today's featuring guys. If you also want to get featured in my next DIY video, do turn the notification bell button on after subscribing to my channel and comment down below if you like this casual dress or not, if you're going to make it or not and anything you want to comment down below. Even you can leave your ideas, next DIY ideas which you want me to do uh, in the comment section below and I'll select three of you for my next DIY video. Until then, bye bye.